and the Providence Public Library is fully open to the public again, and patrons are going to notice a completely different look inside. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh took a tour of the newly renovated facility and shows us what it has to offer. Much like a well-read book, the walls of the Providence Public Library hold stories impatiently waiting to be told. We had to find out for ourselves what they are now that the 85,000 square feet of space has been fully renovated and back open to the public. I think the most dramatic thing that we did was actually uh, to put this new grand staircase. So we cut a giant atrium up through all three floors and it was really amazing when you, so now when you walk in, you just you feel this incredible height and just openness and light that comes into the building. Director Jack Martin is the story keeper. He greeted us at the lobby to show us the result of a $28.5 million renovation project that started back in 2015 when they were notified upgrades were needed to stay compliant with fire safety. Uh, people feel a lot of ownership over the public libraries and you know we have done a lot um, in the past seven years to sort of rejuvenate what we think a public library could be. On the ground level, there's a modern, industrial-looking, minimalist workspace, which replaced the drop ceiling design of the late 1900s. Old meeting new, as evident with these original Providence Public Library signs, now epoxied over as tabletops. You're familiar with the traditional drop box system that most libraries use. Well, with this state-of-the-art renovation comes a state-of-the-art drop box in which you just put the book right here, either outside or inside the library, and it sorts the book for you. Martin estimates the bookshelves house some one million books hard copies with even more resources online. Upstairs, this bright orange room is illuminated by windows that were once partially or fully hidden by bookshelves and walls. When this building, which was built, that we're standing in, was built in 1953, the 1900 building was not considered to be in vogue. And so this building was built out an extra 20 feet towards Washington Street to block any views of the 1900 building from downtown Providence. One flight up is the auditorium. We made it fully ADA compliant. We have new chairs, we have new light. Showcasing everything the building offers is a main theme here. They opened up an old wing of the building to the public. So this is former special collection storage. Uh, it was not open to the public, so you, if you were not a librarian, you were actually not allowed in this space. Uh, it's one of my favorite spaces in the building because it connects the old building to the new building. They're still looking for funds to pay for the remaining $7.5 million of the $28.5 million project. The state paid $9.2 million. The rest was paid for by private funds, endowments, and grants, a cost they were more than happy to spend for this next chapter of the Providence Public Library. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.